Hey, Shion. How are you and Alfin getting on these days? That's a little out of the blue. Why do you ask? Sorry. It's just... I don't know. I'm just curious, I guess. I mean, a lot's changed now he's got his senses back and all. <sighs> I suppose you're right. Well, to tell you the truth, if he'd been the way he is now back when I'd first met him, I probably wouldn't have gotten this involved. But then, if we hadn't met like we did, then I never would have experienced these feelings, so... <sighs> I guess... it's complicated. I can imagine. I know it's not the same thing, but... I know what it feels like to have someone you love who's out of reach. Because of Nagal. Alfin's still alive. It's not too late, you know. And after all, who can say what the future holds? I think if I were you, I'd take things as they come for now. Besides, touch isn't everything. I've never touched you, Xion, but that doesn't stop you from knowing that I care about you, right? That's true. But I do remember back when we first met, you made it plenty clear you weren't my biggest fan. But, but that was a long time ago. There were lots of things I didn't understand back then. Uh, not that that's the point. Don't worry, I'm only teasing. I know what you mean. Thank you. And you're right. There are ways to convey your feelings besides just touching. I'll say. Cooking immediately springs to mind. And if it's someone's favorite dish, all the better. If there's something on your mind that you want to tell him, why not try appealing directly to his stomach? You might just have a point. I'll give it a shot. Uh-oh. If it's Alvin's palate you're appealing to, that doesn't bode well for the rest of us. Well, well, friendship is about being supportive. Sometimes we just have to do our best and take one for the team, right? 